last Christmas for Michael Garcia's son. Just at a point of, of just hopelessness. I mean, we just didn't know what to do. Last year, Jeremy was diagnosed with stage four liver cirrhosis, an autoimmune disease with no cure. Making yourself not feel friendly with, with who you really are. The only hope was finding a living donor. One of the big things with this disease is that it can reoccur. We wanted to take the risk and we still, you know, put our names in a hat. After months, they did. Everybody was just excited about the potential that Jeremy could continue to have. But a woman given the green light to donate her liver changed her mind. So Jeremy's father took a chance. She backed out. I immediately called the donor coordinator and asked if I can be his number one. Uh, a donor. Earlier in the year, Michael had tested to be a living donor, but didn't pass. He wanted to try again and started working out. I wasn't in the shape that I should have been in for my son. He didn't tell me at first. He told me last minute. Turns out he was the match. A gift like this is is something that, you, you know, you can't just give every day. It's um, it, it's very special. After 12 hours of successful surgery last week. Now to see life come back into him, it's amazing. He threw in a little cheap shot. He threw in a joke and he said, you know, don't expect anything for Christmas. A life-changing Christmas gift. Really keep in shape because you never know when you need to save your kid's life. Camilla Rambaldi, Fox News at 9. What a beautiful story. Well, Jeremy was discharged from the hospital today and is back home with his family. If you're interested in becoming a living donor, there's a program at University Hospital. Just go to foxsanantonio.com for more information.